You know, we do a lot of questing in Marleybone, but have you ever looked at the names of the businesses that are on these back streets? After they did a little bit of an update, they added some also. So let's check some out. Tony's Terrier Toys. Duke of Weimariner Wands. Hairless Hughes Hats. Well, okay. I always thought those were G's, but it's a Corgi and clothing, so it's Kodox. Kodox Corgi clothing, I guess. You can definitely tell the newer ones because they are uh, more easy to read than just say like this one over here, which is one of the original ones. I believe that says Miss Dasha's Dex because it's a picture of a deck right there. So that's why I'm guessing. Beagle Bros books. I wish we could go in some of these. And look, I'm driving with my eyes closed again. Post offices, lots of post offices actually. Marley Bone Savings and Loan. It rhymes. Mutt McKinney's Market. The Spaniel's Bark. Hmm. I don't know what type of shop that is. Maybe it's a bar. Marley Bone Times. Well, Marley Bone Times are certainly uh, blowing everywhere, that's for sure. By the way, you ever wonder why there's one whole elevator to go up to Digmore Station? I mean, that doesn't seem very, uh, like a good idea. Need some stairs instead, I think. Much better. Really, St. Bernard Hardware. Retrievers Insurance. Schumann's Schnauzer Wear. Okay, what do Schnauzers wear? But it's W A R E, so it's something that these Schnauzers make, apparently. I mean, it's red like a post office, but this one says G Hargrove and Associates. Hmm. I think there's another Hargrove in the game, eh? Hattie Headgear, I think. Hallie? Hattie? That one's really hard to read. It's one of the original ones. And another post office. Har har. Hair of the dog. Yeah, that's what I thought with the other one over there. Because hair of the dog. Yeah. Definitely a bar. Wow, this one's super dark. Let's see if we can even read this. Gonna get really close to it. Terrible font. Looks like it says Artie's Fine Wares. Really hard to read. Hey, look, it's Monstrologist Boo. Fluffy's Furniture. Expedition Outfitters. Yes, definitely need that in Marleybone. They love to explore. St. Bernard Hardware. The Rusty Hydrant. Ew, and it's definitely a bar because, uh, yeah, it's the setup for the previous bars. That's nasty. You know why the hydrant is rusty? Because you peed on it too much. Ew! So much class here now that they added all these roaming and talking and walking peoples. Ye old Clock Shop. You know, there's actually two of these in here. I don't know if they meant to do that. Looks like Holbert and Son, LTD. Traders of fine doggy wares, I guess. And another Fluffy's Furniture. Interesting. Yeah, see, there's another Rusty Hydrant with a different front on it. And another Yield Clock Shop. Along with Doberman's Deli. Sandwiches, soups, and salads. Yeah, we know what type of sandwiches you like to make in Marleybone. No thanks. And another St. Bernard's Hardware. Unfortunately, they kind of reused a few of these. Expedition Outfitters and Hair of the Dog as different fronts. The Stolen Pickle Grocery Market. Oh, I love that. Macintosh Tea Room. T-A. Sounds nice. And getting to the actual businesses, there's, of course, Sherlock Bones Place. And another Stolen Pickle Grocery Market. Hargrove and Associate over there. And... Millie the Florist. And Calderaro Collars. Interesting. I just heard something break over there. What's going on here? And then on the not so side streets, you got the shops. You got the MV for Marleybone Real Estate and Fine Furnishings. Clearly the uh, housing and furniture shop. Then there's the Jack Russell Jewelers. Got it, Jared. 
And then their Mutt McKinney's Market. Well, at least there's kind of a market right there, except that's Gordon Sumner. I guess he just works there. Mr. Burt's Bones and Biscuits. Lady Labrador's Ovens. Foxhound Footwear, Boots, Shoes, and Repair. Another post office. And that is it. There's a lot of interesting little uh, things that they have hidden here and there in Marleybone. And I just love it. Oh, and by the way, you can get up on the pulpit here. Hear ye, hear ye. I'm a little too short for this. Wow, my pet's a little bit rude. Look at him running around on top of this thing. Thanks for checking out this video, and we will see you in the next one. Bye!